Well, leftists are absolutely losing their minds over the new Jason Aldean song. It's called Try That in a Small Town, and it's a great song. And, well, the lyrics and the music video of the song is what has the leftists going absolutely mad, and we love it here at the channel. We're going to dive in and discuss. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news at the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. And hey, for someone like me, that is all I can do. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. It really helps us in the algorithms getting these videos out to more people. Share the video as well across all your platforms. Hit that bell. Subscribe. Yes, wear the glasses because I'm blind, not because I'm trying to make a fashion statement of any kind. And if you guys could consider making a generous donation here to my ministry to help support what I do, a couple of ways you could do that. One, simply click that super thanks button down below on this video here. That's how you can tip me with a one-time donation. You could do any amount you want right for you from the main video or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link there in the description. When you guys sign up to the Patreon, you get exclusive early access to these videos before they even hit the main YouTube channel. You'll also be alerted for all the videos, which does not happen with just the YT notifications. You can comment censorship free on all videos and send direct messages to me. So check it out. Again, it's patreon.com slash news. The link there in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So Jason Aldean's got a new music video out. It's called Try That in a Small Town. And oh boy, does this have people talking. Um, look, on the conservative side of things, you know, people love this song. Uh, Jason Aldean has been very outspoken about where he stands in his politics, and this does not go along with the left's narrative. Uh, he's also expressed his support for Trump before in the past. He's somebody that just quite frankly doesn't care. Um, and by the way, Jason Aldean is doing much better. He had a situation uh, in Hartford, Connecticut at the Xfinity Theater at a concert uh, over the weekend where he actually had to get off stage. Apparently there was some sort of a dehydration, heat exhaustion, that's what they're saying. He put out a video and, and told fans he's doing better. Uh, they're going to reschedule that show for another date. But this song is great. And let me tell you why. Because this is a song that is really exposing the lawlessness that's in America. And if you take a look at, you know, Bible prophecy, we know that in the last days that the spirit of the Antichrist would be alive and well. And what exactly is that spirit? Well, one of the things is lawlessness. And lawlessness is something that we're seeing increase in our society more and more on a daily basis. Just look at San Francisco for crying out loud. I mean, I was reading through all these different headlines earlier, you know, about how all these businesses are having to chain everything up and board everything up. They're, they're even at some uh, like Safeway stores and like Walgreens stores are like chaining up the freezers and everything like that because I guess one of them was like robbed 20 times in one day. Are you kidding me? Like more and more businesses are shutting down in San Francisco over the violence and everything. It's like you can't even live in these cities anymore. This is how bad, it, how out of control it's gotten with the violence and all of that. And in the Jason Aldean song, which if you've not seen the music video, I will put the link for you in the description down below. Um, he puts in clips here from, you know, what was the, uh, you know, the BLM uh, you know, protests, as they call it. Remember the peaceful protests. Uh, you remember they were, you know, the cities were being destroyed and everything else like that. Uh, stores being looted. So he, he put these clips here in the video, um, and in the lyrics, he's basically saying, you know, try that in a small town, and basically, and, and, and see what happens. Meaning that uh, Jason Aldean and his friends are big uh, Second Amendment fans, and uh, if you tried that there, well, it's not going to go over so well for you. Uh, he even makes references here to how, you know, the government wants to, you know, take your arms away from you. And he says, yeah, that may work in the city, but... Try that in a small town. We're going to stand up to you. And the rest of the song is, is really about, you know, small town coming together, standing up for each other, looking out for one another because they know that they're the only ones who can. It's not going to be your government that's going to do it for you. No, we know that. Um, it's only going to be these good people here. Uh, and again, you, you know, this is talking about rural America. and This is so true. You know, they know what's going on. And, you know, the, the way that Jason Aldean is being painted here. All the different leftist publications that have come out and said, this is a, he's a racist, and this is a song about pro-Second Amendment, and he's making threats of the song. I mean, just watching them cry and melt down over this is just great because they know he's exposing something that's the absolute truth. The song is already, like, top of the charts now. 
Uh, and again, this is a guy who, who's not going to back down. No, no matter what these people say, they can cry all they want. The, the left hates success, you know, especially when it comes from those who speak out against their agenda. And Jason Aldean is just is one of the ones who is leading the way, at least in the country music scene. There's plenty of others out there, too, uh, in the acting world that don't go along with the Hollywood narrative and all of that. But, you know, Aldean is somebody who is doing it on uh, the country music side. And the song is actually a great song. It's like a blend of country and rock together. Uh, so if you like that, again, I encourage you guys to uh, check out this song because uh, the leftists are absolutely losing their minds over it. Um, and, and apparently, after the backlash, and I, I don't know if this is confirmed or not, but apparently CMT, the CMT network, had aired the song, originally the music video, and then apparently they pulled it down after all of the backlash that came in and, and everything that people were saying about Al Dean and the, the promotion of the Second Amendment. This, I don't know whether or not that's true, but they, it wouldn't surprise me because the CMT has allowed a lot of woke stuff to you know go on to their award shows and things like that. Um, you know, they've, they've even had the rainbow flags flying around at some of their award shows. So, uh, it, it would not surprise me one bit, but again, I'm going to put the link in the description. If you guys want to check out that music video, let me know what you think uh, what I want to do right now, though. I want to transition here. I want to end this video on hope. This is something I do on all my videos. You know, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, of course, keep you guys up to speed on everything else going on. I do it because we are in the final days. And Jesus Christ is coming soon. You know, this lawlessness, the violence, the, the crime, everything that we're seeing, it was all prophesied to happen, all to take place. Um, we can never put our faith and trust in man. We can only put that in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so for anybody watching right now, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back in your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget, the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. Join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month by going to patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Link there in the description. And when you guys sign up, you're getting exclusive early access to these videos before they ever hit the main YouTube channel. You'll also be alerted for all the videos, which you can't rely on with the YT notifications. Or you can simply click that super thanks button down below on this video here to tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.